Hello people out in YouTube land. As you see, a new shiny complete control arrived in my studio and I did a connection to Bitwig Studio. So what you just saw was playing a song back in Bitwig Studio and all those nice VU meters moved on this any complete control keyboard. With that keyboard it's a little bit different. So I'm not directly programming the keyboard and I cannot really change what the behavior of it is, but instead it's working like this. You have this NE hardware service always running in the background of your computer and this service takes care about all this user interface and monitoring uh, the knobs and all this stuff. And it only talks uh, then to Bitwig. Basically it only uh, exchanges the data in a current state what's going on in Bitwig Studio to that service. So the advantage of that is that it looks basically the same with every DAW you use it, but the disadvantage is it's also limited to that feature set. And another disadvantage of that is that you need that hardware service to run on your computer and this is uh, currently only available for Windows and Mac computers. So sorry Linux guys, it's currently not for you. So what can you do with it? Uh, as you saw in the introduction, there is a navigation bar so you can start playback. You can stop the playback if it stopped, you press stop again, it moves to the beginning of my project. I can toggle the loop, I can toggle the metronome, I can tap the tempo of the song as well, make it a bit slower, it's slower. The record key behaves a little bit different. If you click on rec, it toggles the override state of the clip arranger. And if you want to record in the arranger, you need to use the shift key as well. So what else can we do up there? You have an undo uh, redo button. Redo is in combination with the shift key. You can quantize the selected clip and you can toggle the automation recording for clips here. So much for the transport section. If you could click on the mixer button, let's move that over here. If you click on the mixer button, you enter the mixer view and uh, in the mixer view, you have the option to change the volume of all the tracks. You see the normal tracks, the audio tracks, as well as the effect tracks and uh, if it's more than eight tracks you can scroll around in the tracks with these knobs here so you also see here the master knob up there one limitation is here it's not supporting groups this is a bass group but i cannot enter it in any way and if you want to uh, move and change the panorama you need to use a shift button and go up there and with that you can then use an knob to change uh, your panorama and you want to go back to the volume you again press with the shift knob you click it down and then can edit the volume again you also have solo and muting of the track so keep the solo button pressed for example and click the knob above the track to solo it and you can do the same with the mute button press it and you can mute that track as well. You can also navigate in the tracks with these knobs. So if you press that one, you can select the track and you can do that also by using this big knob over here. So you can go to the left of tracks and you can go to the right with the tracks. And also you can use it to change the currently select the track, the volume or the panorama, whatever is selected. With solo and mute, there is one little bug here. If you go to the master track, uh, you see the LED is not lit, but you can click it and solo the master track. So let's look at the master track. There it is, so you can solo and also mute it, but you cannot turn it off again with that one. So you need to do that manually. You can also move in your clip view. Let's go to a different project where you can easier spot this. And if you go up and down and left, you can select the clips here. And if you click then an up, you can start a clip for playback. Yeah, and if you go to a track where you uh, have an instance of complete plugin running, you can also go here in a, in a, on the plugin button and you can then edit the features and the, the parameters of that plugin. But as you notice, other plugins are currently not supported, so you cannot modify any of, of the parameters, for example, a Bitwig or a different VST plugin. 
Yeah, so much what's currently possible with the complete control keyboard with the new range. And I'm pretty positive that NE will do some extensions to the feature set so we can put in more data from Bitwig and then we'll have some nice additional features. And until then, use it and make some funky music.